Paige Martley and get his filthy two-hour video, The Very Wild Stump the Joke Man. Only $15 plus $4 shipping and handling. Super Bowl special. Buy two, get one free. Call 1-800-323-KING. Saturday night, February 10th at Historic Club Benet in Sayreville, New Jersey. For information and to order Sergeant Pecker, call 516-922-WINE. Thank you, Jackie, and good luck. Jackie, going back, back to uh, Club Benet. Yes. Jackie's very popular over there. <laughs> At least with the bananas. <laughs> Every time he's there, you think they'd run him out of town, but they don't. <laughs> All right, very good, Jackie. Will you bring things to sell to the audience? Uh, you might do that. Uh, you might do that. Uh, That's always nice. That's always very professional. Sergeant After you finish a nice big show... At Does a nice ever occur to dinner you? theater, it's nice to I stand out there. I have and a girl that comes down and sells the stuff. Oh, you don't have to so stand I out there? So I can just sit there and sign and count the oh, money. Oh, you're there. All right, and count the money. You're there on stage while she sells. Heidi from uh, Rory Rose Garden's uh, Conversation Company Limited will be there. Oh, so you stand next to her while she sells. I sit next to her, yes. You don't actually take the money yourself. <laughs> oh, yes, she does not. You want to make so much change? i got to keep an eye on her. Right. Do you, would you seriously, how does it work? She hands out the tapes and then you collect the money? She sells the stuff and makes the change and I just sign and... And collect the money? Do you really collect the well, money? she collects the no, money. No, she doesn't. You know, does the transaction, and I uh, sign the stuff and interact with the crowd. And I see. It's very professional. Mm. <laughs> very professional, <laughs> yes. So that's nice. The audience gets to schmooze with you after a show. Yes. Right. They couldn't be ruder. <laughs> <laughs> I just wonder when these drunks get home and they finally realize that they bought 87 of Jackie's mugs. Too late, they're completely worthless. That's your money. Too late. <laughs> they wake up and they're like... Oh, you know, I work hard for a living. What, what am I doing? Am I what am I doing? I got 75 tapes. How much well, did selling them. me? I hypnotized them. <laughs> yeah. Well, good. I'm glad to see you have an assistant. Well, business must be brisk if he's doing that. Yeah. I yeah. guess he's selling a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, since our station in New York changed hands in terms of format, we now play uh, new music. It's great to see these record company guys coming back up here and sucking butt. They're here every day now. Aren't they? And man, you know, they were ignoring us when we were classic rock. Now they can't do enough for us. Yeah, they love me. I saw Harvey Leeds up here pushing product the other day. It was great. Harvey brought me birthday gifts. Glad handing everyone. I mean, Harvey walked around shaking everyone's hand in the radio station. Harvey brought me for my birthday a 3D picture of a nude woman. Did you see You're it? You're kidding. No, I didn't see Gord it. Hey, Baba Booey, plug that in. It's a picture you got to plug in. Oh, Gorgeous. Neon? Did you see it, Fred? I, I love it. Beautiful. It's so sexy. Paola lives. <laughs> yeah. Get good presents out of it. Yeah. You never got record company presents on your birthday. Where's all the great perks? Free tickets? Yeah, oh, trip. Trip. Record guys yeah. sniddling around, kissing ass. Yeah, I love it. Back to real radio. <laughs> Well, it's the greatest. I love it for one. Oh, here's my. There's Ralph with my picture. I'll plug it in. Okay. Plug it in, please, will you? Well, you've got an industrial strength cord on there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Harvey Leeds was shopping the other day and thought of me when he was picking up birthday gifts. I said, Harvey, I'll play a few of your records. Why not? Who does Harvey uh, represent these days? Who knows? What? Those record company guys call all the time now. Do they? Oh, yeah. They're calling you, Bob? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, new bands, great things happening. Good. Top priority at the label. Yep. The Stern Show is top priority at several labels. You're damn right. Because nothing's happened yet, but you are yeah, top, right. priority. top priority. Look at my picture oh, now. Oh, my goodness. You see it? That's 3D, Robin. That the is. nude. The nude woman. Like Atlanta Turner of the old days. Yeah, I was trying to figure out who it is. That's uh, Dennis Rodman's girlfriend. <laughs> Very nice. Well, that's that's eerie. Check these record guys. What? Why am I holding this picture? All right, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm sitting and holding it, doing a radio show. Anyway, there it is, and you get all kinds of neat things. And these record guys, you know. Uh, yeah, as soon as one guy hears that they, uh, that uh, Harvey got Harvey me got you a present, yes. they'll be in with their presents. In fact, there's a, um, it's funny, I, you know, I know you wanted the Smashing Pumpkins to show up on my birthday show. Yeah. And uh, Gary called their management and asked, uh, hey, could you help us out on the birthday show? Well, we're in town now, but uh, Z100 had them on their morning show, and we promised. I said, Gary, file that away. Call up the program director. 
What's that guy's name? The one who controls all three stations? Uh, okay. Kevin Weatherly. Kevin Weatherly. This is how it's got to work. And yeah, we'll continue to play Smashing Pumpkins records. But wait till their management company has a new band. We give them the shiv. They do. They got a new. Uh, who do they got? A record to be coming out. Uh, Baruch Assault. Baruch Assault. Can you call Kevin and ask him to hold back on the Baruch Assault? Absolutely. Thank you. Tell Kevin I expect him to, uh, you know, help us out. We'll help him out. And they got some other band that they're really nurturing called Paw. That'll be the last time you'll hear it here. <laughs> Tell Kevin Weatherly, Paw is in a doghouse. <laughs> Tell him we forgot the CD. Seriously, I ask him to do me a favor. Amputation. Just you know, we only have to do this a couple of times to sending. So this is how these other radio stations do yeah, it. Yeah, you know, message. Yeah. It's, it's funny. There's a there's a band. Kevin uh, Weatherly is the program director for KROQ in Los Angeles, K Rock here in New York, and KOME in San Jose. I'd say those wow. are pretty big uh, markets. And Kevin's my pal. Say hey, say hey, pal. Uh, do me a favor. Paw. Don't add it. Dig? Got you. This time we only have to do it a couple of times. It'll be painless. That's my boy, Kevin Weatherly. You know, there's a there's a, a band on one of the record labels. I don't want to mention Forget the their name. But they called me yesterday. Yeah. And they wanted to know if we wanted to have them on. And we didn't. And right. we didn't. Right. And then they said, okay, because um, we know that you guys insist on exclusivity. And I said, you know, we don't. We we're don't. Not, we're not. Everyone else does. I said, we're really cool. Yeah. How would always do a better interview than anyone else? We're the coolest. We're the coolest on the dial. We're not afraid. We're, we're not, not afraid. I'll let every radio say, the Z100 needed them exclusive. What, what, what are you, a worm, a maggot? <laughs> you, you know what? That, who, whose label is that? Atlantic. Atlantic? <laughs> who's that, Harvey? No. Who? No. Danny Bush. Danny <laughs> Bush again. <laughs> Danny Bush. But, okay. Yeah. All right, good. That's okay. They wanted to make sure we they they were offering us first shot at it. Wanted to make sure we did. Oh, first shot. Well, you you tell these guys. I never have demanded exclusivity once. That's right. I just say if a Smashing Pumpkins is in town, give me a break. And then when you need help with Paul, maybe I'll talk to my boy Kevin Weatherly. That's how this business works. What is the uh, situation with the DJs now? Who was on last night? I think, um, I know Maria Molito was on over the weekend. Uh -huh. Supposedly Dave Herman was on over the weekend. None of those guys will be working here. But uh, last night, they, I think they just had the board operator back. Back to the board yeah. operator? Okay. They're auditioning these uh, dish jockeys. And I, make it like they gave them a chance. And er, Howard, every person, I'm not going to name names. Yeah. Every person you ever knew, brushed up against, or worked with anywhere has submitted a tape here and has been calling us and, hey, could you do me a favor? I'll do some favors. Who, who are the Who's people? Calling? I'll tell you off the air. All right. I don't get anyone to try. I don't get anyone fired. People who've been nice to me will uh, will be here. Will be considered. I am part of the decision making process. Is that right? I just injected myself into it. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I'll give you a hint. I just read today Vince Scalzo went over to NEW, right? Yeah. They'll fire him in a couple of months because they change format every week. That guy was brought into this this company. And treated very nicely. I treated him very nicely. Mm -hmm. And he bad-mouthed me. You never did talk to Ben. Let me tell you something. I'll call him any time he wants to be on this air because he's a rat fink. You want me to try to get him on now? Get him on. Get him on. I'll talk to him. Hey, let me tell you something. Let me tell you about this guy. He wasn't going to end up working here anyway. Because once he bad-mouthed me. That was the end. And said what he said about me. Believe me. If you think I would have worked here with that skunk... You got it. He's smart. He got a job over at NEW because he went. He's gonna work with me. Gonna be on at three in the morning over there. Good. Three in the morning. Whatever. But his name is Mud in my book. I never said anything bad about that guy. I goofed around with him and all that kind of stuff, but I'm not interested in him anymore. And he's smart. He's smart to get the job over at NEW because I guarantee you, behind the scenes here, I wouldn't have worked with him. I would have said, "You guys want to hire Vin? You, you keep, you, you forget it." Uh -huh. Goodbye. I don't need that. I don't need to hear from him. Saying bad crap about me and my family. Who needs it? Who needs it? Go over to NEW. They're in the toilet. They don't care. They'll put on anybody. <laughs> they don't have a rating point. <laughs> they don't. They don't even have a rating well, point. It's a perfect station for Vin. Yeah. Well, Vin was in the newspaper. He says, I'm going over. Infinity was very nice to me. Yeah, no kidding. After NEW fired you, we took you. We took you and made you a DJ again. He goes, well, I'm going over there. He goes, fine, go over there. He goes, yeah, because uh, th this radio station, K-Rock, is now trying to force-feed new music to people and you're oh. jamming it down their throats. Like, that's a bad thing. 
first feed. Yeah, I'll read it here. Where, where is it? Who's got the Daily News? Where's Vin? Hey, I got his answering machine, but you know, yeah. Vin's a funny guy, man. Even his answering machine. So the problem funny. is, Vin isn't a funny guy. He's funny on his answering machine. Yeah. He's doing a little commercial, you know, that he's moved to a new station. He's back on the radio, playing the music I want. Yeah, like someone stopped I feel him. Like. Yeah, like somebody stopped him from playing anything. Yeah. Same time, different station. The same show I've done for 20 years. Yeah, the same one that no one's listened to. Uh, he says, I've played all the artists that they're now featuring on K-Rock, says Kelsa. But the way they're playing them, it's almost like an assault, deliberately driving away their old listeners. But of course, we had three old listeners. They told me they wanted to talk about adjusting my show to their new target audience. You know what that meant. They were just saying something nice to them before they blew them out of here. <laughs> And that's something I won't do. I've never targeted the show, period. Well, maybe you should. Maybe somebody will listen to it. It's for anyone with a mind and ears. Like, he's so intellectual. I've heard that show. He's, he's not intellectual at all. He's not an intellectual. I'm 50 times the intellectual that he is. And I'm not, and I'm stupid. <laughs> Long a critic of rigidly formatted radio. Skelsa says he hopes NEW's blend of different styles means the pendulum may be swinging back. <laughs> Keep waiting. You're like, that's not a tightly formatted station. Yeah. 